Yes, welcome to the program. It is Technical Difficulties only on Eagle Eye Radio. I'm Mr. Ramellis. I'm Mr. Zura. And Mr. Zura, I am so happy to be back here in the Eagle Eye studio to do another taping of this illustrious show of can, ours. Can you believe it's episode three already? I can believe it because it's been one, it's been two, and now we're at three. So yeah, technically exactly. using the uh, numbering system that the world typically uses, yeah, it is, it is the third episode. Fair point, fair point. Thank you, thank you very much. So we had last week, we had a quite a, a uh, battle going, I'd say, for a while. <laughs> it was a battle for a, the ages, a yeah. A picture being worth a thousand words or not. I mean, there was sweat. You almost left the show. <laughs> we, we had adrenaline rushes. We, it was, had, we had an emergency phone call that turned out to be absolutely no, nothing. I don't know if I could. I'm really still coming back from that. Yeah, um, it is. Uh, yeah, it, it was a good one. And if you want to know what the uh, revision is to uh, a picture is worth a thousand words, mm -hmm. because we found it technically false, uh, you could just go to any bulletin board in Jonathan Law High School, and uh, you could uh, pick that up. See that for yourself. So beautiful day out oh, there today, it's a huh? Wonderful day, yeah. <laughs> just a beautiful autumn day, and there's uh, a little cold. Yeah, yeah, a little cold. There's a lot of, of foliage going on. There's a little bit of uh, you know. I mean, uh, a chill in the air. I'm really feeling like we're getting into the fall. Just beautiful. I mean, you fall would agree season. that it's, it's beautiful, right? I think we both see today the same way. Absolutely. Beautiful. Can you, well, well, no. What do you mean, no? Actually, I mean, it is to me, but I don't know if everybody would find it to be beautiful. I mean, I like a nice, crisp fall day, but there are some people who are more, you know, summer people. They like beach weather. So, so what I think I hear you saying is that is, is – Beauty in the eye of the beholder? Is that what you're saying? I personally uh, am not sure. And I think that's uh, what we're going to be chatting about today. Like a great episode today. I think, well, then, there <laughs> it is. Almost like we planned that. Oh, boy. Off the cuff here on Woo! technical difficulties. Uh, that's the name of the show. So, so whoa. Oh, whoa. we are in lockstep Woo! today. All right. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Is it, though? Yeah, I think initially it's, it's pretty... Um, I don't know, obvious that you would, it's kind of an opinion, right? I think it's beautiful, you do, I don't, someone else may. It seems agreeable, but I got to tell you, there are some people who, you know, this goes right back to last week's Perfect. episode. I love how we could tie it all in, where we say a picture is worth a thousand words. We were talking about uh, a, a Jackson Pollock painting, right? And how some people find it nice looking, some people find it atrocious looking. Now... What do you, what you, you, were on the, you were on the atrocious end of that argument, by the way. I was on the atrocious end, I think yeah. you said it was like I a four-year-old child artist, yeah. spilled paint all over the place or something. Yeah. Um, well, he's not a classical artist. He's a classic artist. Uh, okay, sure. but anyway. Well, why don't we start, if we're going to dig into this here, because I think, again, on the surface, this seems somewhat simple, um, but we like to give things their due diligence here. We like to go the extra mm -hmm. mile and really, you know, solve these things for you guys to make sure it's not just... You know, it's good to research, good to inquire, mm -hmm, um, and mm -hmm. to dig deep. So first of all, starting with a simple definition of beauty sure. <clears throat> that, I, that I have here. Um, it says, this is dictionary.com, um, a combination of qualities such as shape, color, or form that pleases the aesthetic senses, especially the sight. Oh, okay. Now, what I find interesting about this is the fact that it, it does refer to the sight. Because you, if we get into beauty, is, there's a lot of different things, right? Yep. We could talk about physical appearance. Sure. We could talk about artistic appearance. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you could get into people, uh, beauty on the inside. Ooh. But that, defi I know. You that definition, though, really sort of negates beauty is a surface, um, a visual thing, this definition is saying. We have five senses. Some of us have six, but I won't get into that. That's for our next Halloween episode next year. But... It does truly negate the fact, and by the way, I want to say as a disclaimer, I am completely neutral on this position. I purposely have not thought about this one too much. Sure. I mean, you and I have talked about it a little bit before the show, right. but I... We like I, to be authentic on the show yeah, as much so as possible. Yeah, so you may hear me waffling back and forth on this one today. I am not out for blood the way I, I was waffles, last week. I love waffles, by the way. Oh, I'm starving. So good. Anyway, so I'm delicious. Sorry. That's inappropriate. Um, but I really do think you're bringing up a, a key point. It doesn't negate the other, uh, uh, the other senses. So uh, you could hear beautiful music. Is beauty in the ear of the beholder? Uh, you could, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, you could feel sand sure. um, on the beach and it feels beautiful. Like is, that, is beauty in the touch 
of the beholder, uh, so on and so forth. But by definition, it, it should be only sight. So I think we need to exclude though. I, I think beauty, I think people use beauty to describe those things, which is perfectly understandable and everyone knows what you mean when you're saying, oh, that, that sound is beautiful. <sighs> but by definition, that's not what beauty is. So I think we need to stick to the, the visual of <sighs> beauty because I think beauty, there must be other adjectives you're supposed to use when you're thinking of the feel of sand or okay. the sound of music. So I'm, I'm going to kind of take a hard line here, I think. And definition of beauty is particularly sight. This is fascinating, Mr. Zura, because I feel like you and I can get on the same page here, but you're actually putting up a roadblock before we actually even debate <laughs> the actual right uh, the, the actual phrase or saying today. I am. I, and, and listen, I'm a musician, all right? And as I'm, a I'm musician... A teacher. I'm a teacher first. Oh, okay. Uh, what are we just doing? Naming occupations? I'm a fireman. Um, <laughs> I was bringing that up for a purpose. Um, I'm a musician, and I, I got to tell you, it really it hurts my inner being mm -hmm. to say that I'm not allowed to call music beautiful. Oh, that that's that's that string uh, sim, uh, sa section. I sound like such a great musician, right? My that string section uh, uh, played so beautifully in the orchestra. Um, how? How am I supposed to go through life? What do I have to say? It was so audibly beautiful, which is just a lie anyway, so it just cancels out. I am not here to to discourage or, or uh, disparage your music career. I, know. I am also not the author of Webster's Dictionary or Dictionary.com. So I just was trying to get us on the same starting point before we even get into this phrase. And I'm not here to criticize your tie, but I think it's ugly. Uh, another, I'm sorry. Another. I got petty and childish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Always let's get back right. to the point. Yeah, right. yeah the so definition of beauty. Go ahead. Uh, well, okay, let's, let's put that aside. That if we want to, for now, right. let's, because I think this may end up taking us somewhere else anyway. So let's, we could. Like an hour into like, uh, Yeah, this is going to be yeah. a while. Uh, my next period class, just report to the auditorium because I'm not going to be there. Um, there is, so let's, all right, let's try to move past the, that definition for a second. So if, we're, if, we, if this phrase is correct, then what we are saying is that beauty is uh, an opinion. Uh, I think that's what the phrase is saying. Yeah, that's, that's all I yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, phrase yeah. is saying beauty is right. opinion. So you say that picture is beautiful, this day is beautiful, that uh, person, yeah. okay, that is yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So there's many, many, many studies that have been done <sighs> that don't actually uh, agree to that and would say that there is, um, I don't know what I'm looking for, a genetic disposition or there is... Um, uh, a, a symmetry to particularly people's faces. Mm -hmm. There are certain rates, they're actually called the golden ratio oh, wow. um, of, of proportion. There's been all studies done of people giving, uh, seeing different varieties of faces and different, yep. and, and almost, I, I mean, I, obviously I didn't look at every study and we don't have time to review these. We're just gonna have to well, accept them. Well, then you can hardly cite the data. And, well, we're gonna, for the purposes of the show, we're gonna assume that you know uni the University of sure. San Diego and all these other places had done legitimate mm -hmm. studies. Let's, we'll give mm -hmm. them that credit. And time and time again, All right. The, the ones that are, the faces that are considered beautiful versus the faces that are considered not so beautiful are the more symmetrical ones, which then leads you to, well, maybe, although there is certainly some opinion in beauty that we actually might be, and, and this is, by the way, across cultures and across different species, they all favor, I don't know how you do a survey or a, a experiment with other animals, but there's ways they do it. Just again, trust science teachers can tell you about that. They're all the same result that the, 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 symmet the more symmetrical people, no matter what culture, no matter what uh, animal, sure. they're more attracted to and find more beautiful the symmetrical thing. So maybe it's not as a much as an opinion as you might think. Mr. Zura, I 100% agree oh. with what you're saying, and I do not deny the data. However, I'm looking out the studio window right now, and to me, I think pine trees are beautiful. And I'm using my sight. So all you've done is explain the beauty of human beings and or animals with sentient faces is in the eye of the beholder. Sentient. I don't know what that means, okay. but it sounds, sounds related to really living good. things, right? Yes. yes. So wouldn't you say that that tree over there, that pine tree, this is making, again, for great radio, oh, yeah. pointing out things that our listeners cannot hear? Yes. Do, do, do they look perfectly symmetrical? Okay, so here's my... But they look beautiful to me. Here's so my retort and, to that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can an opinion be wrong? Uh, every day they're wrong, absolutely. Right? So 
your opinion is, you may say that's not beautiful, but it actually is. Your opinion might just be wrong. So what you're saying is beauty possibly can be in the eye of the beholder. And I want to jump the, no. jump the shark here, but beauty, <laughs> that's another episode. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> anyway, beauty can be in the eye of the beholder, but that beholder can absolutely be wrong. Well, right. Like, I, I like that sometimes we'll go, uh, we've done some art references now, and uh, sports sure. reference. If I said, the, the Houston Astros stink. They are it's terrible. Whoa. I, I am completely wrong because they just won the World Series. I may not like them, but my opinion oh. that they are bad is, is, is just wrong. You can't, I can have that opinion. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but that is a false opinion. Yeah, but you're talking about something with measurable data. Like, they're clearly not bad because they won so many games. Sure. But I'm saying that that pine tree, though that tree line over there, which is not in any, by any means symmetrical, it's actually completely jumbled, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just happen to find it beautiful. By the way, some people might think that colors, go ahead and explain symmetry for color, that blue is more beautiful than red. Right. Those are all. I cannot a, believe a, you prepared a, for that. Opin no, those are all opinions. I didn't prepare for that. Those are all. I'm just. And again, by the way, I'm not saying that I am firmly believing my side of this here. I'm trying to play devil's advocate. Because no, like too. I said, we're trying to talk no. this out and just cover all the angles. So it may sound like I disagree with him, but I'm not. I'm, like Mr. Romella said, I'm kind of unsure where I am right now. Yeah. I'm just trying to play yeah. it all out here. So to go back to your point or to go back to your, your tree line thing, I'm someone who would, would be defending my side of this right now would say, your opinion is just wrong about those tree lines. You may find it's beautiful, but sure. that's wrong. Because some people may prefer uh, palm trees, and the pine trees remind them of the cold of winter uh, I, in I New suppose. England. Which is completely... Don't, you, don't roll your eyes at me. I'm giving an example. <laughs> well, so, okay, you said forget the sports reference because there's a, a tangible victory at the end. Right. So take an artistic painting. Let's take Jackson Pollock to bring him up again. He's getting a lot of plugs on this show. JP. Um, if you say, oh, that painting looks, you know, I, not, we won't say ugly, but I don't like that painting. I don't think it's beautiful. But m thousands of trained art critics say it is. Trained by who? Somebody who views beauty well, a certain way? No, someone who is, I mean, you, you're just going <laughs> to disregard professions and years of, of research. Someone may know more about it than you. Like I said, I'm, I'm waffling on this because I, I really don't even know what side I'm arguing <laughs> for. I'm just, I think <laughs> we're just, this is a, we're just Talking devil's about. advocating. We're just, that's we're that's just, what it's all about, you know, though. Just having and it out. Kids, this is a good lesson in, in your classes. Don't just take something for what it is. Dive into it. it. Even though it seems like an easy answer, oh, of course, beauty's in the eye of the holder. It's an opinion. Right? Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe the show would have been over already if it was that simple. Maybe not. So, I, 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 I think what we're sort of both saying, if we could try to find any kind of common ground here, um, is that we're, we're both not sure, but we both acknowledge the fact that even though it's in the eye of the be... Uh, no, because that would just be... If I, if I said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but that opinion could be wrong, I'm just acknowledging the first part anyway. Right, right. What if, I think... Well, no. I think that <clears throat> part... A piece of beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but the majority of beauty is by scientific definition <laughs> and or, you know, uh, studies. That, that, but only, again, only for sentient faces. Well, no, that, I mean, that, that, you, stop using the word that we don't know what it means. I don't well, know what it means I, either. I don't know how to discuss that word. The... I don't want to disagree that beauty isn't in the eye of the beholder, because I think that's a piece of it. Certainly anybody can have an opinion about anything, but there seems to be a lot of scientific data and backing that humans and animals have a general agreement about what is beauty, and I know I'm only talking in terms of, of physical appearance of, of, of people or faces and things like that, not trees per se, but that, that's, that's, I think that's significant. I, I, I'm, as you're speaking, I, I'm, I'm half listening and I'm, <laughs> Thank you. I'm half bored because, well, that's just you. But uh, the other, and then the other half, the third half, if you will, <laughs> is... Very symmetrical. Is, uh, yeah, right. The third half is, is thinking, now, wait a minute. I, 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 I don't think we could possibly fit in all 
the, the possibilities to make this, if this is a technically false statement, mm -hmm. to make this corrected. Because like one of the things that came to mind is uh, beauty can be in the eye of the beholder, the beholder but uh, scientific data may prove otherwise uh, related to studies at Oxford University. Oh, I love University. it. I love it. <laughs> no, the more no, specific, no. the better. The more we, accurate, the We're trying the to better. help the world, not confuse the world. Well, we're trying to make it as accurate and precise as possible. I don't mind a, an elaborate revision if necessary. But I don't even know if this, this is false, though. Do you? I well, <laughs> I don't think it's in. I think it's again. I think I, I, on the surface it's quickly. Oh yeah, okay, that's that's true. But I think if you dig a little deeper, there's a little more falsity to it than you might want to acknowledge. But that just acknowledges that it's in the eye of the beholder. But no matter which way you put it, it's it's we're saying yes. So then, what? So are you disregarding all scientific research and data? Do you not believe in gravity either? I what that is an absolute straw man argument. How dare you, sir? You know I don't believe in Newton's laws. <laughs> Why even bring it up? We've had this discussion before. I'm floating right now in the studio. <laughs> really weird. Yeah. Um, oh, come back so we can finish this discussion. Okay, I'm just kidding. Okay, ah, there we go. All thanks. right. So what are, I, I mean the golden ratio, by the way, just I brought that up before for you math people, is 1.61803, uh, it goes on. It's an irrational number, uh, kind of like pi, but it's a different thing. Um, Again, colors, colors. Colors can be beautiful. There's no symmetry in No, but that's what that. I'm saying, though. I'm saying that th that's not, you could say beauty for anything, but it doesn't mean that's not actually what beauty might mean. It's a combination of qualities, as the definition mm -hmm. says. Mm -hmm. It's not just mm -hmm. color. So color could factor into your decision if it's beautiful, but you can't just say red, beautiful. Again, some people yes, may- Yes, can. No, you can, right, but that's not, you're not, <coughs> you're completely disregarding the definition of the word beauty then. Whose definition is that, by the way? Again, the, uh, I think it was dictionary.com or Webster's Dictionary, which is why now you're just gonna discredit dictionaries and you don't believe them well, either? Well, I'm just having a problem. I mean, You don't believe things... Newton, you don't believe Webster, I, you no. don't like Jackson Pollock. No. <laughs> you don't like me right now. That's true, but I, 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 I listen, I, I'm, I'm having a real problem with this one. <laughs> As am I. Wow. This is, uh, this is rare. This is rare, especially for this one. I thought this one would go smoothly. I thought this would be, we're on like a 25 minute episode right now. I thought it'd be a 10 minute episode. And folks, I just really want to stress that me and Mr. Zura purposely do not discuss this stuff prior to. I mean, yeah. we, we start to and then we're like, all right, stop, save it for the show. And, and then people are like, oh, what are you gonna talk about? What's your opinion? And we're like, no, 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 no we save it. Um, this is authentic. This is an authentic uh, 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 crossroads right here. Well, hey, what about this? I, I'm, I'm, right. Again, I'm trying to common ground here. All right. If, if we added the word mostly into that, or partly, yeah, but I feel like we could do that with any of the phrases. We're not really solving anything. We're just saying like, uh, We just added can be to a picture worth a thousand words. Yeah, that's true. That makes our job. And we said a, a, Doesn't a it make our job a little too easy though? Art? Isn't that like the teacher that just pops in a movie every day? You know, it's too easy. I, I was showing a movie today, by the way. Oh, when was it? Thanks. The Smurfs? No. Nope. The Smurfs go to Washington? <laughs> Rapey. What do you uh, think of the blue Smurfs, by the way, that color? Is that beautiful or no? No, I no, don't, no. personally, because uh, they remind me of Smurfs and they scare me. And they're not really symmetrically, aesthetically not pleasing at all. either. So. Nope. Is beauty in the eye of the beholder for the most part? <laughs> That's the same thing as mostly. <laughs> Stop it. <sighs> My goodness, do we throw this out? It's just a... Are we, are yeah, we having a technical I difficulty right now? I think we don't want to say that because we're like, ah, don't just do it because it's the name of the show. Right. But like, I think this is actually a technical difficulty. I'm not happy with going one way or the other with this. Neither am I. And I think this is, a, this is an upset. I really expected, wow. I really expected <clears throat> this to be, oh, okay, it's technically true. Obviously, everyone has their opinion about beauty. But uh, there is some scientific fact to what is considered beautiful and not. Wow. Again, you may not agree with it, but that might just mean your opinion is wrong. Mr. Zura, is this, do we... It, before we even make a declaration, is this, is this something that maybe we would throw out to the students to decide um, after we declare a technical difficulty, if indeed we are? You trust the students to make something this important of a decision? Absolutely. 
as do I. It didn't look like you did for a second. No one can see what I look like, so I oh, that's right. 100% uh, yeah, agree Mr. with Zara you. was smiling and nodding his head. Um, yeah, I mean, well, 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 listen, first thing is, listen, before, what, before we made the Constitution and became a country, we had to declare our independence, so let's make a declaration. All right, let's make a declaration. Our first ever technical difficulty. Lock it in. So be it. Wow. I cannot believe. It stumped us. I never thought we would actually get I, it, to a technical difficulty. I, I agree. I, I can't believe, especially at a phrase like this. I mean, I thought it was pretty straightforward. I, as and, did and I, honestly. I was just trying to play devil's advocate, but the more I advocated for the devil, I... No, that's not what I was doing. But I, I, <laughs> One I, day I, we'll I, go over the history of that term, actually. That be, it's oh, very interesting. That, I would love to hear that. Um, wow. So um, we are. We may have to have a, a part two of this some at a future episode because I think this takes. We need more time. Yeah. I need. I need more time. I. I, I think. I think what Ms., Mr. Zura and I need to do is think. How do we get this out to our listeners? How do we get this out to the students and teachers of Jonathan Law and uh, the children all over the world, and uh, have them uh, uh, give us give us some feedback about sure. how this can um, be, be be solved. Um, and you know, what, geez, what happens if they find it to be a technical difficulty? I mean, maybe it'll just never be solved. Wow, that um, is pr unprecedented. All right, well, um, I, I, we're going to have to get back to you folks yeah, on that one. we will. And um, we were thinking for next week we might throw out another poll to our listeners yep, so you yep. guys can uh, have, a, have a say again. We kind of liked that the first week, and actually the second week we used it as well. Um, so we'll uh, check for that on, on Twitter, uh, at TD Eagle Eye Radio, as always. And uh, I guess that's our show for today. So thanks for listening uh, to Technical Difficulties. I'm Mr. Zura. I'm Mr. Ramellis. Only on Eagle Eye Radio. All right. <laughs>